Hello and welcome to week one. This week's video lecture is all about critical thinking. More important, the value of critical thinking and how we can apply this skill to our everyday lives. So let's get started. We are going to take a closer look at the thinking process, thinking in the human brain, thinking in memory, critical thinking, the value of critical thinking, and how this relates to the persuasive essay we will be writing in this course. So you may ask, how do we make sense of the world we live in? The thinking process requires us to use our five senses to make sense of the world through our consciousness, our imagination, which can also spark creativity, and by asking and answering questions using the Socratic questioning. So what do we know? Who do we know? How do we know? Why? Where? And when? When is this happening? Where is this happening? Why is this happening? And how can we learn more? Without the brain, thinking would not be possible. The brain plays an important role in facilitating the thinking process. So for example, the brain controls how we think, feel, and act, in that it allows us to plan, enables us to imagine, evaluate our experience, and transforms these experiences into memories. And most of all, the brain also helps us identify problems and directs them into solutions. The brain also assists us in encoding information through practice, repetition, and the use of mnemonics. So how can we improve our long-term long memory? Mnemonics are devices that can help us encode information and make recall easier. Some popular memory techniques include rhyming, method of location, linking, acronyms, association, chunking, and visualization. So what is crit critical thinking? Well, scientists, philosophers, and other great thinkers have defined critical thinking from various perspectives in regards to critical thinking as a process, set of proficiencies, competencies, self-assessment, questioning expertise, or discipline mode of thinking. Despite the various perspectives and definitions of critical thinking, scientists and great thinkers agree that critical thinking is an invaluable skill that can be applied into our personal endeavors, a professional career, and academic journey at GCU. For example, critical thinking can help us set goals, create a plan for those goals, and take action in achieving those goals. In addition, critical thinking can help us all evolve in an ever-changing workplace, such as learning new technologies, structures, policies, and procedures, and new skills. Critical thinking can also help us better understand information we read, synthesize, and draw conclusions, as well as conduct effective research and write a well-thought-out essay using credible research. So what is the assignment, as I mentioned earlier, is the, caps the persuasive essay is the capstone project for this course. So we will be focused on one step of the research and writing process each week. This week, we will select a research topic and determine our audience. When thinking about your essay topics, consider selecting a non-biased topic, a topic that you have little emotions for. Next, decide on your stance. Are you for or against, pro or con? At this stage of the writing process, start thinking about your reasons for your stance and consider your ideal audience. Your ideal audience should be a group of people you want to persuade your point of view to. Who are they? Are they voters, lawmakers, teachers, administrators? Keep your audience in mind when developing your argument for your persuasive essay. So by the end of this topic, you should have been able to answer the following question. How would you define critical thinking? How can you apply critical thinking to all areas of your life? And how can you tell when critical thinking is practiced or not? Well, this concludes this week's video lecture. If you have any questions, please reach out to me in the messages tab. Otherwise, have a great day. I look forward to seeing you all in the discussion forum.